Hi guys, my name is Amber. I'm a mom of 11 kids and we live in New York City. And I'm gonna show you all what we eat in a week. Today is Wednesday and today we are having split pea soup. We're putting some split peas in the Instant Pot with some chicken stock and that's how we start it. We're using the Barefoot Contessa. It's her first cookbook. We're using the recipe. We actually have it because even though we have a giant family, like if we make the whole recipe, it ends up being too much. I'm gonna put it in the Instant Pot for about 15 minutes. So the recipe calls for two pounds, but we just end up using one. And another mainstay of our weekly eating are cookies. So you know he's making cookies. What kind of cookies are you making? Uh, just chocolate chip again. Yes, those are the best. She's waiting for dinner. We're having some frosted uh, no, flakes, you know just, how it goes around, <laughs> around these parts. Yeah. So we're putting in the chocolate chips. Does that look good, Mom? Look at those chocolate chips. Mm. That's the good stuff. Oh, it smells so good. You having some cookie dough, Mo? Because that's the good stuff, and Netta's having a bath. Is that the good stuff, too? Mama pumped you a bath, Netta. Milk. Milk and cookies. So here's about one cup of onion, so it's one onion, and then also some garlic. We have some pancetta that we got from Trader Joe's. We put that on there. And we're also going to try, it's the first time we've done this, we're going to try and make these croutons look really good. Here are the parmesan croutons we're trying to make. Yeah, the ham's already cooked. She's grating some parmesan cheese for our crouton bread. So we've got the onions in there and the pancetta and the olive oil. So it's really good. Let's put a little black pepper in there. We also have these little boiling potatoes we're going to put in there. And here are the baguettes. It's hot. Oh. Don't be hot. <laughs> Okay, so here's the baguettes. We're gonna turn these into croutons. These are the <laughs> half-baked pizza from Trader Joe's. Mark diced up the potatoes all pretty. And that is having a little ride. Are you having a little ride? She has her little toy from the March Hare. Do you like that, Netta? Yes, it's so fun. Kids are over here doing, I don't know what they're doing. What are you guys doing over here? <laughs> Art so we're doing some carrots too. Here we go to carrots. Beautiful. That good. Little potatoes in there. We're putting in the split peas that we took in the instant pot for 15 minutes. So here's our one half. We actually put in more uh, than half the chicken stock, so it's a little bit, a little bit thinner and has a little nicer consistency. Okay, just kidding. Actually, we don't put. We, I, we do just end up putting half, um, half the chicken stocks. But he only cooked it with part of the chicken stock, and then we add the rest later on. So this is eight cups of chicken stock. How many cups did you put four, it with? So four cups in the uh, in split pot? Piece. Okay, okay. So that's his trick. So now we're going to try to make the croutons that you see there. We're going to cut these um, thin and put some olive oil, parmesan cheese. We're actually going to put some garlic salt on there. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I think it'll taste good. And uh, a little bit of pepper. And that's slicing up the croutons. So I love the artistic creativity over here. What are you painting? Just making a paper and then I'm going to put holes through it. <laughs> so the soup's just simmering for a while for all the vegetables to get nice and soft and flavors to come together. Mark's putting some olive oil on there. And we're gonna put some 
garlic, salt, and parmesan cheese. And make some crostini, is that what you were calling them? What were you calling them? Yeah, crostini. I don't know, it's like an Italian thing. Italian croutons, basically. These are like croutons the French way instead of in a box, <laughs> the American way. Good. It's hot. <laughs> it smells really good. Is it yummy, yummy. Is it thick? It's getting thicker, yeah. It thickens as you cook it. Mm. Thicker than before. Mm. Still not as thick as it should be. Let's give it some time. And the beautiful cookies Naomi made are out here cooling. Those are gorgeous. Then yeah. we're getting ready to put in our puto. Gonna see those in the oven. Bake. They've got olive oil, garlic, salt, uh, Parmesan cheese, and then also um, some parsley, dried parsley. Bake those. This should be out really nice. Increase the temperature to about 400. And here is the soup. And here's the crostini here. So everyone already ate because I was nursing the baby, but here's mama's food. There you go. This pea soup with the crostini. Looking good. Crostini. Mmm. Fantastic. <laughs> Did you like it, Enoch? Yeah, it was really good. It's better to have the stuff with the cornbread because you can't really dip it in the soup. Yeah, it's so the crostini can, was a big hit. It just doesn't really taste that It's good, good. for dipping. <laughs> yeah. Wait, are these right here all the Eating up that bottle. Oh, yeah, I ate it. You did a good job. You can grab my phone and you call him. Tell him daddy. Hey guys, welcome to Thursday. We are making hamburgers tonight. And we're also making fries. The way we make our fries cook a little faster is we actually microwave our potatoes first and then we put some um, olive oil, a little bit of seasoning, and we stick it in the oven. So we're actually making cheese for the, we're actually making cheeseburgers, I guess. So in here are the, uh, the fries in question, looking good. But otherwise they take forever if you don't do that. So it's just a way to make them a little faster. Um, and they, they're nice and soft that way, but also crispy on the outside, which is kind of what you want. And then, are you cooking the pit patties on the grill out there? It's raining though. So. Oh, it's raining. Okay, so out here, it's raining. I won't go out there. Um, uh, the potatoes, I mean, sorry, the hamburgers are <laughs> grilled. So here's our cheeseburgers. I guess the grill caught on fire, but <laughs> still looking good. And then uh, got our fries cooking. Got some tomatoes, some lettuce, and then a sweet onion. And of course the condiments, ketchup, mustard, and whole wheat hamburger buns because they're healthier. Yep, there's our mustard. And Naomi's going to play for us? What are you going to play? When um, you're playing for a benefit concert or something? It's just a concert for the like scholarship donors. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so what are you gonna play? Um, Bach. Cool.
That was really, really awesome. Elijah, what do you think? Guys, mm -hmm. are looking good. What did you put on there? Is that paprika? That's beautiful. Nice. Here's our hamburger and fries. <laughs> mm, so good. Hi guys, welcome to Friday evening. We are having my mom's rosemary, lemon chicken, Brussels sprouts, and mashed potatoes. So here are the Brussels sprouts. Someone was on a tour at grocery hall. They're like, those are mini cabbages. Yes, they do look like mini cabbages. Isn't that funny how big they are? And then this is the garlic mashed potatoes. Looks yummy. And rosemary lemon chicken. Just I was very excited. <laughs> so what did you put in the garlic mashed potatoes? I was at the hair salon. Uh, my hair, so my hair. <laughs> the the potatoes. Uh, I'm sorry. The potatoes boiled with uh, five cloves of garlic. And then um, once I I drained those, I saved some of the potato water. I cut them all up. I put uh, about, let's say, eight tablespoons of butter. I put um, like three quarter cup of sour cream, and then the rest of the potato water, a teaspoon of white pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. That sounds amazing. It smells so good. It looks so good. Here, what do Everyone's very excited. So this is the recipe. Basically, it's chicken. You put lemon. There's lemon rind, three sprigs of rosemary, chopped garlic, salt, ground pepper, olive oil, and then you put a lemon slice on top. And you're supposed to marinate it overnight. And um, so Mark made it last night. So it smells so good. I wish there was smell of vision. <laughs> anyway, so I'm very excited. I don't like the rest. All great. Brussels sprouts are yummy. That, I think the Brussels sprouts are the best part of this. Um, Actually, three even for now. Mommy, I love this meal. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. having it. I don't think I remember having mashed potatoes. And I really love everything on this plate. So that's good. I'm glad. I mean, I guess we made it's a meal. It's good for you. It's healthy. So you may use the mandolin for the for the garlic. Oh. Not really. That's really good. Mm. 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 Here's my plates. We're going easy on dishwashers tonight. <laughs> Paper plates. Usually we have stainless steel, but. Melody, there's nothing in there. I'm going to cut your food for you. Mm. Very good. So good. It's really good, Mark. Oh. It's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thank you. I have my elbows off the table. Okay. First, I'm going to eat a bite of this. This matter. And Mo is having a little snooze. He'll wake up and eat when he's done. <laughs> Welcome to Saturday night. It's a chill night because some of our kids are at Free College Juilliard. And, um, well, they're back now, but anyway, we're having burritos. We also went out and had some ice cream, and that was yummy. Here is my burrito. We use this nice um, skillet thing to make the cheese all melty, and this is my whole wheat tortilla. Here's our black beans in the instant pot. 42 minutes on high pressure. You don't have to soak them. Just put some 
salt and ginger in there. And you're done and perfect beans. A little salsa, a little sour cream. Chipotle ain't got nothing on this. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I eat too much of Chipotle anyway, so it just keeps me uh, <laughs> in a better range. <laughs> and each burrito probably only costs like 25 cents, 50 cents max, so better deal. <laughs> Chipotle around here is like 10 bucks. Hey guys, welcome to Sunday afternoon. We are having Liner. <laughs> We're having shish kebabs. We marinate them in soyaki, which is this teriyaki sauce from Trader Joe's. And then we just put them on a little skewer with some red onion, bell pepper, and the, the meat we're using is boneless skinless chicken breast from Costco, so it's economical. And I just make about four cups of white rice in the Instant Pot, and voila, that's a meal. It's Mark's out here grilling me. Throw another shrimp on the bobby. Just kidding, he doesn't like shrimp. <laughs> Throw another kebab on the bobby. Good off the barbie. <laughs> yeah. So earlier today we were doing a collab with this guy named Alex from Instagram and um, he does stuff with some of the students from Juilliard. And so he he's like, hey bro, you wanna do something with your family? And me, and so um, anyway, so I'll show you. I got a little bit behind the scenes footage from that, but hopefully it'll actually um, he's going to edit it and put it up on Instagram, so I'll uh, tell you when that comes out. It'll be fun. I think they're both Okay, yeah, let's do that. It smells so good. Just gotta make sure the chicken's cooking. Yep. Oh, you missed nap time. You're waiting to do a little outfit from Marshalls. <laughs> looking cute. Anna had her last recording for her pre-screening for Juilliard Pre-College Audition. So 
We should find out. I don't know. When did we find out last year? If we get get to go to the in person audition. Uh, probably in like April. Okay, no, so. I don't know. So we'll find out probably in April ish. Not April. Um, if we, March, when do you think March? Maybe. Oh, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon we'll find out. And then if she gets accepted to the in person audition, I think that's in late May or June. So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing this for a few years now. It just depends on how many spots they have open. Last year, there were only four spots for cello, so I think what they said last year, both Elijah and Anna auditioned last year, and they didn't get into Juilliard pre-college, and basically what the teacher told us was Anna's a little too young, and Elijah was a little too old, so hopefully, hopefully there's spots, and hopefully it works out this year. We just got to keep trying. Do you want one? I think. You know, sorry. Is that good, Mo? Uh. There we go. Looking good, Mo. Oh, sorry, take off from Where's the, uh, here's the soyaki sauce. This is what we use as a marinade for the chicken. Tastes good on the rice, too. Mm. Good grilling, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, and welcome to Monday. We are having chili relleno casserole. I remember loving this as a kid. We couldn't find quite the right ingredients. So we're using, instead of whole chilies, we're using the chopped chilies. But you put the chilies on the bottom and then cheese, and it has eggs and flour. And I remember as a kid loving it, so we'll see if uh, 30, 40 years later, uh, if I still like it, but I'm sure, I'm sure I like well, it. My mom's right recipes stuff. are really good. I don't have the, I don't have, I have chopped chilies instead of like whole chilies, but. Yeah. If we like it, we'll try it with the whole chilies, because I have to get the whole chilies off of Amazon. So the chilies on the bottom, then the jack cheese, which is surprisingly hard to find in the city. Mark Costco doesn't have jack cheese as far as I know. Although they might, we're gonna go out, do a jack cheese hunt. <laughs> Meta is a fashionista. She has these little uh, Ugg boots that Naomi got her for Christmas. Are you fashionable little lady? <laughs> Now we're putting another layer of the chilies over the cheese. It's a little bit like Mexican lasagna, I guess. I so we're gonna put some egg and milk in there and that goes on top too. And then we're gonna put a cup of milk in there. We're putting in um, a teaspoon of garlic salt, half a teaspoon of coriander, Half a teaspoon of oregano. Here's the magic. You put in a cup of flour. These have two four ounce cans of chili and then also two cups of cheese, each one. Now we're pouring it over. Thank you. 
Naomi says she's like surprised it's actually good. <laughs> well, it doesn't look that appetizing. But it tastes good. My mom, all my mom's recipes taste good. Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday night. We are at Costco, we're shopping. So tonight we are having pizza, rotisserie chicken, and salad. And ice cream, and salad, <laughs> yes. Can't forget the ice cream. So that's what we're doing for dinner tonight. And the kids all ate their ice cream before their pizza. But, well, some of it. You had some of your ice cream. But you never know what's going to happen. So you got to... Sometimes you got to eat the good stuff first. <laughs> Here is the, uh, the meal up close. We got pizza. And then we got this... Uh, Disgusting. Caesar salad. We got one rotisserie chicken. We basically just put some chicken on the salad to make it chicken Caesar salad. Are you need to save a pizza? Is it good? You should probably heat it up. Okay. Yeah, let's make the salad. We're putting the uh, Caesar salad dressing in there. It's fake for me, but you know what? Feeds the crew and it's ready instantly, which on shopping night, that's kind of what we need. And they even give you a little lemon wedge. Are those your nuts, Mom? What kind of nuts are they? Are they coconut almonds? I got those at Trader Joe's tonight. Those are really good, huh? Oh, did you eat all of them? Yeah, well, your friends helped you a little bit. You had some help. You were out, you were out That's so how old sweet. Chloe was when Moses was like born. Like six times. So. Aw, you're a good brother. Chloe was seven when Moses was born. Also, this is our once a week thing. <laughs> they get one can of soda a week, and so here we go. Usually, we don't have that. <laughs> um, you can use that plate if you want to. Or you want to microwave your pizza? Yeah, you can use that plate.